Hello everyone. Welcome to my home. It is Charlotte here. I am um, ready to start filling this journal up and um, decorating. So I did kind of pull some things off camera just to save some time. I did some die cuts and um, I didn't really feel like I needed to do die cuts on camera. So, um, let's see, what do I have here? Okay. Um, this is the cover, of course. This is, this is the second page. So, what I did is I ran this through the die cut machine and I just kind of, I layered it because it was really too thin. And I thought we might put this right down here as a pocket. And what I did is I bent this back because if I glue this, that's gonna give us a little bit more thickness. Um, I couldn't do it on this side, but I don't know if it's even gonna matter. But um, yeah, so let's glue this down. And this is going to make a really, really nice pocket for us. So we will get this side down, do the bottom, do this here, and I think get this down. So let's see. And get this a little bit underneath. You'll notice I'm not taking it all the way to the bottom just because I like the look of this paper and I think it's pretty. So this will give us a pocket. Pull this down just a little bit. This gives us a pocket right here. Just make sure this grabs. Let's see if this worked the way I wanted it to. We're good here, but this is too plain for me, and so I did a little die cut of a uh, pumpkin. And I thought that right there might be really cute. So I want to glue that there. Let's do a little bit of distressing. And then this, because of the way the die cut works, wouldn't really make a good. Um, like little tuck spot. So this is just going to be a die cut just to kind of give you a little bit of visual interest there. And we might come back later and revisit this. Could put a label here, Halloween something, but for now, because we'll come back to this I think a couple times. We were gonna we're gonna need to make the tags the ephemera that's gonna go in this but right now I'm just kind of setting it up for what's to come now this page I didn't want to cover the spiders up so I kind of had an issue with what to do half of a pocket wouldn't work I could leave this so that this is journal space but that really wasn't the plan. So I took another die cut, I put some glossy accents on it, and I painted the candelabra, I painted the, uh, the um, flames a gold, and I thought I might put this there, and if I leave, I remember on the other journal I used the candelabra as a tuck spot. So I think I am going to do the same thing with this one. 
so this is going to get put down right there so we're going to glue the flames we're not going to glue the candles and we'll glue the base we will glue this See how that will work. Put this, I think. Is it right? Yeah, that works. Okay, so then what we have is this little tuck spot right there, and I think right there. So that gives us a little place to literally tuck a little something in but that wasn't enough for this page so I got an idea I took a piece of cardstock and I backed it with um, copy dyed paper and I went ahead and distressed it and then I made a um, hinge here and because we left it open at the top I thought let's glue this down in here like that so that when you open this you're going to see this this will flip up like that giving us all this journal space and give us a couple places here for a tuck spot so i am going to go and we still then have our pocket so i am going let's glue this down Let's get this down and then worry about if we want to put something inside of this later. But for now, let's go ahead and get this in there. get inside this pocket here okay so now we have this piece that flips up and I forgot I have a spider right here and I thought let's this is also a die cut and I thought let's put the spider right here and put a gem on him We'll put a jewel on his back. So let's adhere this. You know, the great thing about doing a Halloween journal is if you've got Halloween die cuts, this is really your chance to be able to use them. That's just fun. And I think I'm going to cut this off. I'm not sure where that's going to happen. I think I want him about right there. Just like that. Let's cut him off. Right there like that. And so this way depending upon what we have in here he's kind of a little surprise and then let's put a jewel on him do we want a large one don't think i want green probably purple i've used all my reds i've got a dark blue this is there's a blue. The blue's pretty. There's the purple. And I don't want pink. A little light blue. Let's see. It's kind of a light blue. Don't like that. Green. 
I think. Purple. And then would I want a purple on this guy's body? No. I think I like the green. Wouldn't have thought that. I can't tell you why. I don't know why. Let's just go with purple and be done with it. So let's put this on there. Right on his body. Just like that. And I know down here, what I want to do is put a tab, and we're going to hang um, some cute stuff off this tag. So I went ahead and punched the tag. Let's go ahead and distress it. And um, whatever I'm going to hang off of this will be towards the end. So we have the skull. And I'm going to use a skull. And the other side then will be this web with a spider. So I'm having a good day. I went to breakfast this morning with my friend Dana. That was really nice. So this will go, hopefully this is on camera, this will go there, and then we will do the other side. So this will be like that when you see it. So guys, how cute is this? Look at that. And then you'll lift this up. But this is very plain, and I'm not going to leave it like that. So I do have die cuts here. I don't lose them. I uh, have a die cut that gives you this spider web effect. And I thought when you lift this up, this would be cute. And then I was debating, do we want a pocket? And I thought, no, because the sole purpose of this really was to be able to have journal space. But then I thought, too, how cute with this as a belly bambi. But I think I am just going to... This I might want to use later. I put this here. Let's just do. Let's see. Maybe just do that so that we don't lose that space. I mean, it is a journal. I want there to be some writing space. So let's see if we can get this web down. And then there is a little spider to go with this web. And hopefully this is on camera. Then we have a little black spider. Might put let's see. 
You want to put him where he's going to show up and not be hidden. See, there he really is hidden. Maybe... If I put him right in the suck in the middle, he won't show up. See that he totally gets lost. So maybe I'll put him like that. And should we put a jewel on him? Put a little jewel on him. Maybe not the same kind of jewel. Put him down like that and maybe use like a little rhinestone. Hmm, let's see. I'll just grab one of my smallest jewels and see what that looks like. That really is way too big. So I think we will come back and put a rhinestone on him. So, what we do have then, I guess we could do, we'll come back and revisit this because I don't want to lose the sole, sole purpose of this was to write. And I don't want to lose that. So, if we flip that up, I mean, that's really cute. We can write on that. We could add a ghost. Let's see what I've got. No, we could add a hat. D no, all right, we'll come back to that. We got lots of coming back to do. So when we turn our page, we come to this, I truly, truly, have no idea what to do with this because I don't want to cover this up and I'm thinking this might make another great page to uh, flip out. This here, not too sure. So let's go to this. Love this. I went ahead and did a, an embossing um, page here and again I put the glossy accents on there and thought this would make a really cute pocket so I'm pretty sure I want to add this to this and then maybe put a ruffle here so let's do that I want something interactive on each and every page. We have to have things that are going to hold. Cards. Tags something to be able to write with. So this is a great pocket right here. And then I had some netting. And because this takes up so much space, I thought, how about a ruffle? Isn't this just the prettiest ever? So I was thinking, maybe, because this won't take away at all from what's happening here. And then maybe put some jewels down here. So maybe we should not think about it too much. And just go ahead. The question is... I think we'll come over like that. So 
Let's get our glue out. down. And I've got some of this in black, which is just beautiful too. The little sparkles. Got it all over my fingers. Let's get this out. These threads. Like that. And then I wonder maybe. I have to get my buttons out. All this trim we will come back and do. I do have these cool butterflies that are um, embroidered. That might be kind of cute. Let's see what other colors I've got. I think he might be I'm going to use one. That will be the color. Hmm. This is the sort of thing you just have to wait until later. But I get impatient. I'm like, let's find out about that. But then I've got these gems, and a row of these gems. Might look really pretty here. So I think, I mean, this is gonna take time to put these gems on, but if we're gonna do them, then we've gotta do them. Start at the top and just kind of work our way down. Start up here. Get these on. This is all like part of the process. And I don't know, maybe I should do this off camera. So you're not having to sit and watch this forever, but look at how pretty that is. Something we want to do. Just add some sparkle, some texture, a little bit of bling. Just looks ever so cute. So it's a beautiful Saturday here today. It's nice outside. I think these are, I don't know where these are from. Might be Hobby Lobby. Might be Prima. I'm not sure. 
They're in my bling stash. And so we just have to get this done. Probably six more, I'm guessing. get them evenly spaced. Sometimes they come off with the sticky stuff and sometimes they don't. So I saw my mom yesterday She's doing well. Of course, I stuck my glue in my glue. Okay, I think three more. Hard to believe my mother's going to be 94 in November. Unbelievable, guys. She has outlived her mother, her father, her aunt. I think she is, she holds the record for longevity in her family. Okay, two more, and then we will have a look at what we've got and see if we can find a place for that spider web. I probably have more glue on me. Let's see, do we want one more? Yes, we will do one more. Right at the very bottom, just like that. And let's have a look at this and see what we think so far. Love that. This still needs something. Something, something. And we have this. I might be able to do that. I just hate to hide. This really doesn't hide though, so I'm not too sure. And we've got that, which this is a great page. And um, I might do some washi tape. And speaking of my washi tape, somebody asked me where I got that box of washi tape. This is recollections so this I've had this for probably three four years but this then would have come out of Michael's so that's where this came from I won it at a in a, um, a crop lottery so 
So let's see if maybe Happy Halloween would be cute down there or up here or pumpkins. Let's see. Happy Halloween here is adorable, so let's add that. That looks really, really cute. So let's add a Happy Halloween. if this can go under here I didn't come back and glue this down because I knew I might just stick a pocket in there so let's put a little bit of glue on here put that down just add some color up at the top, which I think is pretty cool. And now let's check out the butterfly again. It just doesn't does not look good and I don't I still don't think I want a flower because it just well maybe if I put a flower there and put a gem on it that's really kind of cute why don't we just, you know what? I don't, ah. It's one of those things. Do I want to do it? All right. It, it's a revisit because I can't make up my mind. And I don't want to do something and then just so totally regret it. So what is next? Let's go back and revisit. Let's revisit this and let's think about this for a minute. What we want to do here. Could do a little skull and crossbones. I think maybe this might need I think that might be cute. I think we might do this. Now let's go ahead and get him distressed so he's not so white and then see what this looks like. You still, you still know that's a skull. That's really kind of cute, so maybe we should do that. That means we are going to cut this off right here with then a little tiny piece of belly band. And then we are going to glue this.
think like that. We are going to glue this off the page because I know the glue is going to come through the other side. Okay, so again, we need the fabric fix because we're gluing on this one. We are gluing on fabric. I want to make sure that this stays down. And we're going to stick this a little bit under the fabric. So come on, and so I'm pretty sure it'll glue the fabric down, and I want to go about right, about right where his nose is. So we get that just like that, and then on this side. Just like that. So we've got a sweet belly band right there. And I think maybe we might need some kind of a snippet. We'll see. It will kind of speak to you and tell you what it needs. But, um, let's see, oh, I wonder, we want to put, we could put this, because it, it's not covering the spiders, but it shows you it's a spider web, and this would make a cute tuck spot. If I put it down here. This would make it really cute, but I'm wondering if we want to stick this right in there like that. Then we've got a cute little pocket, and I think let's do this. I think that will be really cute and it's good use of that piece that we've got so why not take advantage of that what do you think I know I'm probably being quiet but you know when I'm doing this trying to think plan and Get it going. Yeah, I think that's pretty cute. So then we've got like this cute belly band or pocket. I did not glue the bottom because that's something I can come back in later and do because I'm not sure that I want it glued all the way down to form a pocket. I may want the belly band. So let me get this glue off. There we go. So what we have really is A little belly band here which is pretty cute and I think I might leave it as a belly band I think I will so that's just one more little element to that that is super super cute 
and I think I'm good to close this. Then we have this belly band and we need something here and I really am, I was thinking about possibly using this die cut. Let's see if this would fit because I think this would be real cute. This gate. It might be too big. Yeah, it's going to cover up that head, that skull, and we're not going to want it that way. So I am going to use that gate. I'm just not sure I know where. But then I do have this other metal gate. I don't think there's a right or wrong. That would be cute, but... I mean, this makes a great journal page, but it needs something. And I think maybe another flip on this page, another interactive flip, would be really cute. Because this, then you could journal on this if you wanted to. We'd have a flip like we do right here. And um, maybe make this a little bit more interactive with some pockets on this page. So I think we'll do that. And then we've got this, this one here. This might be a really great page to put. I care more about the skull. This might be a really good, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Um, use this die cut and cut this out. This will be a great pocket. And then um, maybe some washi down here would be nice. So let's see how this would look. I mean, it is a Halloween journal. I don't know. I don't know. So let's wait. Let's hold off. So guys, I think that's, I am going to do that for there. This is the back. So I'm probably not doing anything on the back. And then we've got lots of ephemera that we need. So um, I think I am going to stop this and figure out what's going on, kind of get it ready, because you really don't need to see me put paper on paper. I will come back. I won't put anything in here. We will do it together, and I will explain to you what I've done, and that will be in the next video. So um, I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for watching. I, I really hope that you're going to enjoy this series, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.